La Mila Gross is a 4.4 mile trail, but in order to get to it, you're going to need to start at Molino Basin and pedal about 3.5 miles on the Arizona Trail. When I started researching this trail, I said it started with a one mile hike and bike. I needed to see if this was true. It was one of the most challenging starts to a trail I've ever experienced, and I wasn't even at the trail yet. As you can see, I'm cranking out over 400 watts before I'm even warmed up, so you definitely got to pace yourself. There's tons of traction on all these rocks, but you're going to be pumping out high watts and high heart rate, so it's going to make all this stuff that much more challenging. This part's about three quarters of a mile in, and it's one of the first major, major challenges. There's some more rocky sections along the way, but the next major crux move is this big step up. Once you see this, you know you're getting close to the top, so keep spinning and try to relax. Once you cross this cattle grade, you know that it's gonna be primarily downhill from here to Lamilla Grossa. Once you're on this downhill, it might not be as strenuous, but it's definitely a rough, rugged trail. There's a lot of tight switchbacks, so just try to stay loose and enjoy the ride on your way to the trail. At about the three and a half mile mark is when you start La Mila Grossa, so keep in mind everything you've ridden so far is just to get to the trail. When you see right, this rock see stack, that? you're gonna make a right and this begins the trail. Right off the bat, you're gonna head into the waterfall section. This thing is a little bit technical, so just try to take a wide line and cut back across. And then one of the most challenging parts now is it's pretty washed out and dry. And as soon as you come down this rock stack, you're gonna need to climb right up the hill. So be ready to dump it into a low gear and keep climbing. The whole first part of La Mila Grossa is pretty much just some up and down, rough, blown out single track. So there's gonna be some big rocks, but as long as you keep looking far enough ahead, you should be able to find a pretty smooth line. So just enjoy the scenery, and it's a pretty wild ride before you get in some pretty rough rock gardens. This is one of the first ones, and it's kind of hard to find a line through. So I just went up and over those rocks to try to make it as easy as possible. After some of these slow rocky sections, you're gonna head into some more rugged downhills. Pretty gnarly. I was riding my Giant Anthem with 130 millimeters of travel in the front and 110 in the rear. I definitely could have used a little bit more travel on some of this rough rugged stuff, but since I was trying to look to clear the uphills and the downhills, I figured it might be the best choice for this trail. When you're done descending and you hit this creek bed, you're in for one of the biggest challenges of the entire trail. You're going to need to get your pedals timed just right over here. It's a pretty big step up and you need to kind of stay on the gas the entire time. There's a whole bunch of stair steps, so a little bit of trial skills is definitely going to help you. But I tried to just stay to the right and keep the pedals moving as much as I can. You're going to probably stall out a little bit because there's so many things to grab your wheels, but just try to keep moving. After that, you're going to be rewarded with a really, really cool slick rock downhill, so try to enjoy this. You can get going really fast. There's nothing to really grab your wheels, so just keep moving. Try to go as fast as possible. Not only do you have to deal with all this steep, loose, rocky terrain, but there's tons more cactuses, so you've got to make sure that you stay on the trail. At the end of day one filming, I took a turn to the inside, got a cactus in my hand, and needed to go to the hospital to get it taken out. It was a quick procedure. I was back on the bike, no problem but these cactus are relentless out here, so make sure you don't cut any corners. As you make your way down La Mila Grossa, you're gonna get into some really cool features. There's a lot of steep rock roll downs. Once you get to this stuff, you know that you're getting close to the end. This stuff is super fun, and there's pretty smooth lines through here, so if you just look ahead and plan it out, you should have no problem rolling down all this stuff. After the last bit of rocky terrain, you're gonna hit some fast double track, so just pin it. You're gonna be going super fast here. When you get to this, you know you're very close to the end. There may or may not be water, and it's there, boost it. But either way, you just finished La Nula Grossa.